In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 proven strategies so by the end of today, you will have at least 10 business ideas for yourself. Tip number one, look at where you're spending your money. So when I started AppSumo.com, there was two things already going on for me. One, I was already buying software like MailChimp and LinkedIn and all these different products. And two, I love a good deal. And I started noticing, well, what if I could get good deals on the software that I like? And that's what became AppSumo.com. So for yourself, the action item I want you to think about right now to come up with the business idea for you, tip number one is, look at your credit card statement or your bank statement or your Amazon orders page. Yeah, so you can see what things you're already spending money on to come up with ideas for working in that. One story about that is Tim Ferriss, who a lot of you guys know, he started brain quicken because he looked at his bank statement, saw that he was spending a crap ton on supplements and realized he could create a business out of doing that. So think about all these products you're buying. Which ones are giving you joy? Is it the camera gear? Could you turn that into a newsletter business? Is it maybe food and cooking? Could that become a subscription service? Or maybe something that you're buying that you could actually consult others on. So that is tip number one. Look at where you're spending your money to inspire you to come up with a business idea around that. Tip number two, look at how you're spending your time. My good friend Kevin Espiritu runs Epic Gardening, which is a popular show on YouTube about gardening. He's got over 700,000 subscribers. And so for him, he's been enjoying gardening, started making videos about it, and now he's got a business for it. So here's some immediate actions you can do right now Number one, open up your web browser, hit command Y, or just click on your history and look at what sites and topics you're visiting often. So for myself, and hopefully we can have a screenshot right here, I look at the subreddit called One Bag. It's something that I'm super into. It's about how do you pack and travel with just one bag. And so that starts spurring up ideas of like, are there products that I can make for one baggers? Is there any homemade things that people made in that subreddit? Or could I start my own newsletter business giving one piece of advice regularly about these bags and start selling products through a newsletter or through an online e-commerce store. Other things you can do to look at your time is your Google Calendar. I'm a big calendar guy, so I can look at my calendar and say, man, I'm spending a lot of time doing something around that. So next as well is on your phone. So if you on your phone can go to your downtime, it'll show you which apps and which things you're spending a lot of time on. I know it's watching this show on YouTube, but the other things you're doing on YouTube or on your phone might give you some hints about things that you wanna create a business out of. My favorite things around business ideas are solving your own problem first, remember that. Let me give you a few more thoughts about how to come up with ideas based on this. I'm actually looking at a lot of gravel biking on Instagram and on Reddit. Maybe there's some businesses around gravel biking. Maybe it's a blog, maybe it's a YouTube channel, maybe it's products, maybe it's reviews. Notice the theme of things you're interested in and maybe what kind of business can you create around it. If you're into tacos, could you start a taco review site? Maybe I could start taco clothing site. I just eat the tacos people, by the way. I don't need to make more businesses around those. Just find something interesting for you to go create a business around. If you like watching anime, or if you like doing yoga, maybe you can create yoga for dudes courses. Or if it's anime, maybe you can draw anime for people that aren't weird. I'm teasing. I love teaching you guys how we're running our businesses. So maybe that is my business. So you guys try to figure out where you're spending your money and time and create businesses around that. Here's something that my director wanted me to tell you. If you're liking this video so far, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell, bing! I put out three videos every week to help you on your business. By the way, if you have the notification bell, you'll make sure you get notified of my private office hours that I do exclusively for you for free, as well as we do giveaways and give out a bunch of other stuff just for subscribers that have the notification bell on. So please make sure you do whatever it is down there that you gotta do. All right, tip number three, text your best friend or social media feedback. A lot of things in business are about fear and overcoming fear to find out who you are as a person and how much you can actually do. So I texted my good buddy, Michael, this screenshot, you can see it here, or wherever it is on the screen, the other day of saying, hey, Michael, what kind of business do you think I should start? Sometimes when someone's outside of the fishbowl and they can see in on us, they can give us some really helpful advice. So Michael said I could do shirtless Zoom modeling. You guys don't wanna see the shirtlessness. Uh, I could do coaching people on overcoming fear or marketing, that's one of my favorite things to do. So find out for yourself. As well, you can post on your LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram, or wherever the hell people are online today, and ask people, hey, what kind of businesses do you think I could start? And I think if you even post that and you overcome the fear of rejection and the fear of no one saying anything, you probably find out some really interesting things about yourself. My assistant, Jamie, posted it saying, hey, I wanna teach people how I'm an assistant, and she actually got a tremendous amount of people asking her for that type of advice, and now she's turned it into her own side hustle. Tip number four, Noah Kagan, AKA Rabbi Can't Lose, gives you two million of my own dollars in cash. Yes, mom, I'm giving him away two million dollars in cash. Not really, no, my mom's gonna be mad about that. This is one of my favorite things to reflect on for business ideas is that if I don't have to worry about money, if I'm not pressured to come up with a business idea, what would I do tomorrow? What would you do tomorrow? So for me, guess what it is? It's this right now. It's really coming and making these videos and hanging out with y'all and responding to the comments and, and helping you guys create your own businesses where you get to tell me all the success that you're having and I feel damn great about it. I haven't met someone who hasn't had the idea. 
It's inside of you. Now that you don't have to worry about the money, you can go do that idea. Write that one down. And before we dive into the next section, let me know what, what idea you've come up with so far based on your money or your time or your friends, uh, or if I've given you $2 million, what you're gonna do. Let me know in the comments what business idea that you have. If you haven't started one yet, or if you got one going, let me know as well. So tip number five, I was actually thinking about my brother today is, what have you done in your day job that you can now make into your side hustle? So my brother is a doctor and he does a lot of stuff with insurance, blah, 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 boring. I don't really fully get it, but he can actually go help normal people with their insurance claims and help. Uh, so when I left Facebook, I was a product manager and I did marketing there. So based on that, I looked at other companies and said, hey, I can do freelance for marketing or product. Just because I was at Facebook, they thought I was smart. Pro tip, let me just give you some wisdom. Never get discouraged by someone else already having your idea. I promise you, you're gonna write down one of the ideas today and maybe you'll have to comment which one that is. And then you're gonna go online, you're gonna search it, it's gonna be there and you're gonna get discouraged. And the thing I've always told people and I remind myself is that there are many Mexican restaurants in your city and in mine. And so the point that means is that there's room for everyone. And if you haven't heard of that business before, it means they haven't even done a great job marketing. So that's an opportunity for you. Tip number six, the first problem wins. And I told you guys this a little bit earlier, but solving your own problems is the best and most rewarding way to succeed in business. And let me think of it myself. What was the first problem that I did not like today? It was like giving myself some credit. So I think there's maybe something, I think the wind journal is a great example of that, which is like, how can I remind myself? Maybe it's an app, maybe it's a text, maybe it's an email, maybe it's a book that more often I can remind myself of like, hey, you did some pretty good stuff today. So Drew Houston, founder of Dropbox.com, billion dollar public company, kept forgetting his files at home. He's like, well, what if I created Dropbox? The second one is my coffee doesn't stay hot very long. So I've actually bought this, which is the Ember mug, which is a self-heating mug, which keeps your coffee hotter longer. Another thing you can do with this one is just think about what are three things today that sucked and write those ones down. And I'll do that every day. At the end of the week, you're gonna have over 20 business ideas and be proud of yourself. I know for myself, I'm hard on myself. Yeah, we all are, but you don't have to be. You got the ideas and then we're gonna get into some of validation a little bit later in the video. We're on tip number seven, unbundle Craigslist. So one of the most important things about business ideas is you want to look for people raising their hand that say, I would like to pay you money for this. That's a great business to start versus begging people for money. There, you can start going to Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or any marketplace where people are asking to pay for things. Maybe it's Fiverr, maybe it's Freelancer and start looking at what categories people are asking for things. So there's been a lot of significant companies, RV share, Airbnb.com, Thumbtack.com. The amount of ideas and businesses that are available for someone like yourself and me is unlimited. It's just finding the one that you're excited about. Tip number eight, the to-do list text. Text one person who has money or a company and say, what has been on your to-do list for longer than two weeks that I can do for you? A lot of times, if you don't have any business, if you're sitting on the couch, if you're watching these videos and you're praying for money to come, it's not gonna happen. So one of the most powerful things in business is momentum. So just get started on any of these business ideas. Same thing with these YouTube videos. I was just doing it on my phone, recording it. And now that I'm starting to do it regularly, I'm like, oh man, the momentum's building. I wanna keep going. And so with the to-do list text strategy, do it with a few different people, see what things come up for you. And then you can realize maybe there's something in there that you can turn into a business. Tip number nine is Reddit. I am a huge Redditor, and this is an amazing place to find inspiration for business ideas. Uh, so people on Reddit are literally all the time saying, here is something I'm making. And then you have a million people in the comments, probably more like hundreds saying, hey, where did you buy that? Or can I get one? And I'm not saying to go copy everything out there and outsource to China and magically money comes. What I am saying is that it's an amazing place to go and find inspiration. One of my favorite ones is reddit.com slash r slash D I Y. And what you can do there is see that all these things that people are making at home and see how crazy the commenters are saying, hey, I would really like that. One quick step back on this. Just because someone says they're gonna pay you for something does not mean they're going to pay you. Promise me, I've gone through that a lot in my life. But what you can do is say, hey, that's an interesting business idea. Let me see how I'd actually get customers for it. And if I can, then I'll expand it out to a business at a later point. Uh, here's a few ideas that we just came up with on the team that you could do right away for yourself. So a CRM for job hunters. So if I'm actually job hunting, something to organize all my jobs, it's a pretty good one. Uh, a monthly subscription box for plants and seeds, a service that scans your body 3D, and then it could recommend the right sizes at all the clothing stores online. These are actually really good business ideas. Hopefully you guys can copy or do a few of them. Tip number 10, hopefully you guys have at least 10, if not 100 business ideas by now. It's more likely you're at like five because I know you're just like dicking around in the background there, but piggyback on popular products. Identify products that are super popular today and figure out how do you create accessories or services that you can do for those customers. So one of the most popular ones in the world is the iPhone. Uh, one of the companies that I've always been a fan of is called Quadlock. Uh, I actually have it for my phone and it's a thing you can put on your phone and then you can lock it into your bike. And so the idea there is that if you know on an iPhone or you know on cameras, or on iPads, that people have already spent a good amount of money. So what does that mean? Is that they have money available to spend on accessories for that product. 
So what are popular things on the bestseller list of Amazon? I think we'll have like a screenshot right here. Hello, Amazon, uh, that maybe you can create supplements for. It's much easier to sell a group of people who are already excited about this. If you think about a lot of large companies, PayPal, for example, they grew because eBay was big. They wanted payments and they're like, oh, we'll just piggyback on eBay. Uh, iCracked.com is a $25 million a year business based on fixing iPhones. So here's bonus tip number 11. You start a YouTube channel or send Fox.com email weekly newsletter. So why is this helpful for you? Because if you still have no ideas, what I want you to do is start building up an audience, start improving your communication, and start realizing that if you just start writing and start thinking about things, one of the things I do almost every single morning is journal. And some of the mornings I get to the computer and I, and I sit there and I'm like, I don't have anything to say today. I'm kind of like empty. And I'm like, all right, well, sit here 15 minutes and just sit. And then I start writing. And then I start writing. And then I start writing and then something happens. So I promise if you actually commit to doing at least a weekly video or a weekly newsletter for the next 90 days, you will have a lot, a lot of business ideas. And the bonus tip number 12 that I highly recommend for you is sell your stuff on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or whatever online marketplace or offline marketplace you can do. And that is the most basic one that is literally an instant business idea. And I was doing that during where I was selling Oculuses, I was selling microphones, I was selling webcams, because I was having a trouble finding them for myself and I was like, well, if I'm having trouble and I can eventually find them, I bet you I could actually sell them for a premium, which I was able to do that. Uh, and so for yourself, my recommendation is take all the extra junk you have in your place, take junk from your friends' places and just start selling it online. I'm not saying that's gonna be the end result and it shouldn't be, but what it will lead you to is maybe there's certain categories, maybe you'll notice that there's inefficiencies in the marketplace, maybe you'll notice that you can sell people other things. And just by doing that, it will build new ideas for you to start your business. So for the AppSumo business idea, you have to realize like I tried 23 other business ideas to finally get to that one. So either A, I've got ADD, HDDD, whatever, or it does take some time. So don't be so hard on your business ideas. Really pick one, give it a shot for at least a week, if not two, to really see if you can get a few customers and then realize, all right, maybe this was an idea. Let me find something that that person does want to buy. So now you should have at least 12 business ideas, if not a lot more. Let me show you a few things about how to see if customers will actually buy uh, the thing that you're thinking about. So how to validate your idea. You have a bunch of ideas. You've gotten at least 10, if not a lot more. If you've gotten 20, make sure you put in the comments number 20. I wanna see who's got like the big numbers out there. So let me give you some recommendations. You don't need more courses. You don't need ads. You don't need to spend any more time. And what I always recommend to people is give yourself three things. A weekend, so 48 hours, try to get three customers and try to make $100. And that is what I have found from doing literally this with thousands of people, the formula that works to see, is this a business that is gonna be viable and easy for me to scale out? Don't skip this step, because this is the part that matters. If you go get domains, if you're on Fiverr buying like a logo or something like that, come back to me after you spend the money and no customers, and then you'll listen to this and do it and it'll work for you. So let's say you have the CRM for job hunters. You're like, all right, Noah, I wanna do a thing where people can organize all the jobs they're applying for. My recommendation is, well, who do you know that's applying for a job? I know my friend Daniel is doing that. So I would approach Daniel, I would do it in a Google spreadsheet. I'd say, hey Daniel, for $10, why don't I personally track all the jobs you're applying for? It's $10 and I'll do it for the next three months while you're applying until you get a job. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah. And if he doesn't want to pay for it, it's like, oh, well, I didn't have to build software. I didn't buy the domain. I didn't have to deal with marketing or ads or landing pages. I found right away if that's something of value for him. And this applies in all different categories. If one of your ideas was maybe it's baking oatmeal cookies and you want to do a monthly subscription box for your cookies. Can you post that on your social media? Can you reach out to your synagogue or your church or your mosque, whatever it is, or your community and say, hey, I am selling these oatmeal cookies. Is anyone interested in them? If not, great. If they are, now you can go deliver them and scale up the business. If they're not interested in them, one of my favorite things about rejection with your business ideas is two things. One, what would they pay for? So if Daniel doesn't want the CRM tool or if the people don't want the cookies, what would they pay for? What are they spending their money on? The second part of that is that when you do get rejected, which will happen, find out if you can get a referral. I know we've gone through a lot. There's at least 12 different ways to come up with a business idea. So let me recap them for you. Number one, look at where you're spending your money. That's a great way to come up with different business ideas that I talked to you guys about earlier. Number two, look at where you're spending your time. Number three, text your best friend or post on social media to see what kind of business ideas they actually think you should be doing. Number four, imagine that I gave you $2 million in the bank and you could do whatever you want tomorrow. What would you start working on? Number five, what are you doing in your current job or in the past as a freelancer that you could do again today? Number six, what's the first problem that comes to mind? What's your first problem? Come on, you got it. Number seven, unbundle Craigslist. Look at places that people are raising their hands to pay money for things and see what you can actually build a business out of that. Number eight, the to-do list text or AKA find rich people and see where you can help them and they'll pay you for it. Number nine, Reddit. 
subredditors. Go on Reddit, see what people are asking for. Number 10, piggyback on popular products. Number 11, if you ain't got nothing, go on YouTube, go on Sendfox, next 90 days, once a week, put out some content. And I promise you by the end of the 90 days, you will have at least a business idea, or if not, you'll have a YouTube channel or a newsletter that has some audience. And tip number 12 is sell all your crap or your friend's crap, and you can do that immediately right now. If you want more guidance on your business journey, make sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you do not miss another video. We have our underdog of the week, by the way, which is all you have to do is take action based on the content we're putting out there. Let us know your results and inspire everyone else in the comments and we will feature you in an upcoming video. So Raymond Centillion Jr. is the underdog of the week. This is amazing. He said, I love the content you're putting out there. And he was wondering whether he can go from selling $25 resumes to someone now who is selling, he is selling $2,000 interview coaching to people. And I hope he's helping a lot of people get jobs. Big props for you, man. That's just dope. And if you are watching this video and you wanna start a business, check out my Million Dollar Weekend where I walk you through literally how now you can take your idea, evaluate the market, and turn that into your first three customers. I'll see you out there and I love you. Pew, pew. Do that one you thought of. It's great. All of them are great. Don't worry.